Okay, okay, Tucker, please, can we, can we just talk about this? I just, okay, listen, character word is starting, and we just, we need to do this. Can you, can you at least take your thumb out of your mouth? Like, okay, no, just no. leave it. No, you, Tucker, no, okay, okay, wait, what's going on? Tucker, no, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's okay. I guess we're just gonna have to just keep going, you know? Sorry, everyone. Welcome to Character Education. We're so glad that you guys have joined us today. My name is JD, and this is, this is Tucker, who apparently is being very shy. Tucker, come on, we, uh, what are you doing? Okay, Tucker. Well, um, we would like to welcome you guys and let you know that your character word is where you come to learn about things like honesty, respect, and individuality. individuality. Right, Tucker? Stock time! Sn <clears throat> um, Tucker. Eating. Tucker, please, what is going on? Okay, JD, if you must know, I have chosen to go back and live the best part of my life over again. And that is wh which? Preschool. <laughs> preschool? Oh, the best four years of my life. Wait, four years? In preschool, you didn't have a care in the world. Life was about fun, eating snacks, and naps. Oh, glorious, glorious naps. Oh, it's nap time! Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Excuse me. Um, are you serious? Tucker, what Sleeping. Are you... No, you're not. Sleeping. Tucker, what? Uh, Tucker, this is silly. Come on. Are you serious? What? You know what, JD? You, I knew you wouldn't appreciate any of this. I'm trying to go back to a time that was simpler and better. Well, guess what? I don't think... Racist! Yes! Okay, well, let's just get back to our character word, shall we? Now, every month for character word, we talk about a big idea. And this month, we're talking about something that is kind of hard, but is really important. On the count of three, I'll reveal it. And if you know it, I want you to yell it. Ready? One, two, three. Contentment, yes. And what does it mean? Learning to be okay with what you have. Excellent. What, what was... Oh, excuse me, Jetty. Oh... Sorry. Well, well... I need to move my cot. What is... Um... <sighs> yeah. Okay. Really, Tucker? <clears throat> like, what? Yep. Watch this wheelie. <clears throat> Are you serious? <clears throat> like, what? Well, Tucker, <clears throat> it's... So, if you under if I understand you, you want to go back to preschool because you think you had a better time back then? Exactly. Ow. And, uh, okay, you think that that is better than being an adult? No, not really. Preschool's where it's at. Ow. Okay, then. Uh, what do you- Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to call the tricycle place to see if they have a larger tricycle. Okay, uh, no, hey! no, no. Hey, that's my phone. No, no. Listen, okay. I'm I'm sorry. You you can't use this. What are you talking about? That's my phone. Well, I don't think a preschooler should be calling strangers on the phone. Do you? <laughs> okay, JD, but I'm not actually a preschooler. Um, but you want to go back to the preschool age, so no phone. Okay. Uh, okay. Fine. 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 Well, then I'll just go to the store and buy one myself. With what? My wallet. Okay. Uh, hey, that's my wallet! Uh, what wallet? You're too young to have a job, child labor laws and all, so I can um, give you the wallet without money but, in it. But, uh, or your driver's license. Okay, no. See, when I said I wanted to go back, I didn't... Okay. Oh, and um, can somebody give me uh, Tucker's car Wait. keys? No, those are... Uh, yeah, there we go. Those are my keys. What are you gonna do with my like? What are you gonna do with my truck? Like, um. Well, uh, you're too young. Um. Thanks, guys. Um. You don't need to be driving. Um. You're a preschooler. Remember? Uh, oh. Okay. 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 Guys, stop. Stop. I get it. Yes. I actually enjoy a lot of things that being older brings, like driving wallets, money. Uh. But uh, preschool has its drawbacks, like this tricycle. Ow. Okay. So you're saying you're happy with the age you are now and the life you have now? Yeah. I think that goes great with our big idea. Wow. 
thank you. I, I can't I, I can't get rid of this tricycle now. Can you help me move this? Oh, um, sorry. Um, thank you. I just, uh, do you want me to get rid of this? Yeah, I mean, yes. Can you, can you take care, can you take my stuffed animal and my whoopee? Your whoopee? Yeah, my whoopee. Okay. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Caleb here. What would make you happy? Would a puppy make you happy? Cause I mean, oh, it's just so fuzzy I could die. Oh. <laughs> what about the newest, most awesome gaming system ever? Or maybe moving into a house with the world's coolest backyard. I mean, look at this. I could pretty much live out there. It's true these things might make you happy for a few hours, a week, a couple months, but then the puppy turns into the world's most annoying yappy dog, just all the time. And a new gaming system comes out that's got way more cool games. And your friends are too busy to come play in your backyard. So now you need even newer stuff and more good things to happen if you wanna be happy. But what if, time out. <laughs> What if happy isn't about what you get or what happens to you? What if happy is a choice? What if instead of trying to be happy, sometimes we realize we can just be okay with what we have? You decide your dog is pretty great, even if he does bark a lot. You decide you're cool with the old gaming system because you've mastered some awesome games and hey, you might even try out that retro system of your dad's in the attic. You decide you'll invite someone new over to play in the backyard, because you haven't played with him yet, but he seems pretty fun. <laughs> you decide to be okay with what you've already got, because that's what contentment is. It's a choice to see what you already have with new eyes, with grateful, happy eyes. But I know that you all won't be content until we say the big idea all together. And honestly, me either. It's my favorite part of the month. <laughs> okay, everybody lean in. Lean in with me, all right? Say it all together. Contentment is choosing to be okay with what you have. One more time, again, again. Contentment is choosing to be okay with what you have. We will see you next month. No, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello. My name is Simsy Haggis and I'm the world's greatest Scottish rapper and blah blah blah. And this guy right here is the world's greatest Scottish beatboxer, Seamus McFamous. Give him a taste of what you can do, Seamus. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> Look at this! After everything I've accomplished here! This article is in this national newspaper. Hi. <laughs> look, look, it's written right here in black and white. And yes, people still do read newspapers. Hey. Look, it's right here. It's in bold. It's in bold. See, right? Hey. Look right there. Hey. Right there it says Martin McTavish, named world's greatest Scottish rapper. <laughs> hey. Will you stop reading the Garfield cartoon? Will you please just read the article right there that I'm pointing at? Look at it! Ah. Uh, right? I'm no longer the world's greatest Scottish rapper. I've been replaced! And to find out this way is. 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 Hi! <laughs> what is it? Hi! I, I do I feel like throwing up on the camera too? Hi! <laughs> oh! Oh, you want me to tell them about the widget? Okay, that's a good idea. It'll get my mind off of this injustice! <laughs> okay, so, you know, when things start showing up in your life that are really cool, your vision can get kind of all wonky, you know? You can start looking at things and wishing you had those. Like, you know, say you're the world's second greatest Scottish rapper. And then you hear about this other rapper who's some nobody who's become the greatest Scottish rapper. And then you can't I... oh, okay. This widget right here will help you learn to be content. These are called the reframes. 
And if you ever catch yourself being discontent, you know, saying things like, oh, look what they got, I wish I had that, or look at that, that's really cool, that's cooler than what I've got, or hey, that guy's the world's greatest Scottish rapper, and I'm... <laughs> you just put them on, and then you take turns looking around in your world to see the things that you are grateful you have, that you're content with. Aye. Oh, you want me to do it? Okay. Well, I was the world's first greatest Scottish rapper, so, you know, I laid down new ground, I guess. And I still have you. You're the world's greatest Scottish beatboxer. The, the second greatest Scottish beatboxer, all he does is moo. You know, it's better. Better to rap with. And then I got friends and family that I love. And who love me? Regardless of whether I'm number one, or number two, or number three, or any number, infinity. They just love me for me being me. Aye. I got a lot to be content about. Hey, these things work! <laughs> you know what, I think we should kick a fat rhyme about it. Aye. All right, kick it! If your friend's guilt is really snappy, don't look at your own and get unhappy. Don't let your heart be filled with resentment. Let your heart be filled with uh, that peace, that thing that fills your heart and you're feeling really grateful for everything you... Contentment! Contentment. Oh, you know, these things work. I'm already feeling very content, but... Hi! I didn't say that. This guy was named world's greatest Scottish W-R-A-P-P-E-R rapper because he raps meats at the deli. He physically raps things. Oh, so I'm still the world's greatest Scottish rapper. Isn't that great? What? I guess he just dropped the mic. Hey everyone, I'm so excited to be here with you today to talk about one of my favorite big ideas. Repeat after me, contentment, deciding to be okay with what you have. That's right, you know everyone here has some things and everyone here wants some things. In fact, let's talk about some of those things. On the count of three, I want you to shout out the thing you want the most. Maybe it's a video game, maybe it's an awesome toy, or maybe it's something for your house or for your room. So let's hear it. On three, ready? One, two, three. Virtual reality goggles. That's funny, that sounded a lot like Tucker. Oh, it sounded like me, Trey, cause it was me. Uh. What are you wearing? Disappointment, that's what. Trey, listen, I've been really trying to practice this big idea of contentment, right? Like really, really trying for a long, long time. You mean since you were out here about five minutes ago? Yeah, and since then, it's just too hard. Listen, I was totally content, really working on it, but then I was scrolling through my InstaFace page and I saw this ad for these virtual reality goggles. You put them on and you can literally go anywhere. They're amazing. So, what's this then? It was me trying to be content. All I had was a sleep mask, so I put it on and tried to use my dumb imagination and I just ran into stuff though, like the wall. Tucker, you know we're talking to the kids about contentment. It's about deciding to be happy with what you have. Yeah, and I would decide to be happy if I had those awesome set of goggles. Seriously, I heard you just had that conversation a few minutes ago when you wanted to go back to preschool. So, it actually kind of gives me an idea though. What if we took a stroll down memory lane together and you can see just how you'd feel after getting those goggles and if you actually like it? I mean, sure, but how would we do that? Well, we can just pretend. Trust me, why don't you head backstage for me? Uh, you okay. know it's funny how things change. Yeah. The stuff people wanted a few years ago is not exactly the stuff you'd want today. So. I've known Tucker for a long time, so let's go back a few years to when Tucker and I were in college. He was obsessed with retro stuff and couldn't do any of his classes until he got this old retro video game he was hoping for. 
Man, Trey, you'll never believe it. I found this super awesome retro video game at an antique store of all places. This thing is the best. You wanna go play? Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks though, Tucker. But this is the best. I'm just so happy. <laughs> well, obviously that video game didn't keep him happy forever. Let's go further back when Tucker's dad introduced him to his favorite John Travolta movies. Beaver's right. Beaver's right, beaver. Uh, Tucker, what are you doing? My dad showed me this awesome movie and I realized that my sole purpose in life is to bring disco back. So, I got this awesome outfit. Can you believe it? I've never been so happy. Come on, try let's dance. Uh, how about we go a little further back? And then there's Tickle Me Elmo. Back in 1966, this was the toy that every kid wanted under the Christmas tree. It was crazy. They completely sold out right after Thanksgiving and people would chase down delivery trucks trying mm. to get one on their hands. People even got injured as they were stampeded to get them in stores. I think they got a little carried away. Don't you? Yeah, but Tucker was, was excited. I was ecstatic, and I'm not, I'm not so, t I'm so tickled, mom called and said she got me the new Elmo. You get it? Tickled me, Elmo, tickled, mom called. Okay. So there's a little trip down memory lane with Tucker. You know, for you, it might be something else. You might think you'd be happier if you had a certain thing, or you might think you'd be happier if you could go to a certain place, or you might think you'd be happier if you could do something or know someone. It doesn't matter what you think would make you happy. The question is, what if it was really all up to you? What if you didn't have to wait for all the certain situations or certain things to come along for you to be happy? Gracious. Hey, Trey. Hey, Tucker. How was the trip down memory lane? Uh, I mean, it was good. It was really fun looking back at the old things. Um, but... Like going down memory lane. I mean, like I said, it was good. All those things seemed so important back then. And kids like me felt like we had to have all of them, right? We talked about them all the time. We even dreamed about them. Right. But wait, where are all of those old game systems now? Where are those bizarre clothes that seemed to be trendy at the time? Ooh. Whatever happened to Tickle Me Elmo? Uh, well, honestly, all those things we used to love are probably sitting in a closet somewhere, uh, gathering dust and. Well, they, they probably don't work it very well anymore, if they even work at all. See, the truth is most of them probably got thrown in the garbage. So wait, Trey, are you saying stuff is bad? No, it's not that having stuff is bad. Stuff can even make you happy for a while. But stuff, situations, circumstances, even people can't keep you happy. Eventually the stuff you have will break, or a person will let you down, or a situation will change. So you're saying if we want to make the smart decision, we can decide to be okay. We realize that stuff, circumstances, and people can't steal our happiness. We give it away when we choose to be discontent. That's right. That's contentment. Contentment is choosing to be okay with what you've got. Yeah, just kind of jiggle it a little bit. Should be on. All right, cool. You know, I need a new camera. Like, really need a new camera. This one's working great now. Yeah, but I always run out of memory with on uh, this one, and the focus. Rolling. And I'm Lawson, and I've got a fantastic story to tell all you guys out there in Lawson watching land. I heard it from my friend who has this neighbor kid named Elijah. Elijah gets a whole week of vacation for fall break, and all of his friends are doing amazing things. Like Jose and his family are going to the beach and they're gonna go scuba diving with the dolphins. <laughs> Nick and his family are going to Wonderworld, where he's gonna ride the Thrillster like 587 times at 299 miles an hour. And then Ricky and his family are going to Yellowstone Park where they're gonna see a giant geyser that goes all the way up to the moon. So, Elijah wants to know, what are we doing for fall break? And his mom says, your father and I, we have to work. But his dad says that he can take a day off work and they can go to the park 
and jump in piles of leaves. Elijah can't believe how unfair his parents are being while all of his friends get to do all this super cool, amazing stuff. And so then he shouts, you're being so mean. And then he stomps off like an elephant or a pack of dinosaurs during an earthquake. And Elijah spends three whole hours mourning the death of his fall break. And he says, what am I supposed to do for a whole week? And his mom says, well, what do you want to do? And then Elijah finds his Z-Box 1080. And he remembers that he hasn't played Space Busters in forever. Plus, he finds a super cool book that his aunt gave him about climbing Mount Everest, which he hasn't even explored yet. And he's been dying to build a ramp for his dirt bike. And then he goes to his mom and he says he's gonna need way more than a week to do all this super cool stuff, cause this is gonna be the best fall break ever. And his mom promises to provide as many provisions as possible. And Elijah is so excited that he blasts off right then and there. And he cuts out a giant piece of moon cheese to bring back to all of his friends. So kids, remember, always be prepared for unexpected space travel. And that contentment is deciding to be okay with what you have. This isn't green. Moon cheese is supposed to be green. Hmm. Still tastes good though. Ooh, can you jiggle it a little bit? Just kind of hit it. Oh, good. See you guys next time. I practice harder than anyone. I have been in class longer than Trina. I can kick higher than Trina. My extension is a lot better. Everyone thinks I dance better than her. I do not understand why she is on the first row and I'm on the second row. At one of our last rehearsals, Miss Bonnie moved me back. She didn't even say why. People are coming to see me tonight, and now I'll be on the second row. It's not fair. If no one can even see me, then what's the point of dancing at all? I guess there's always someone watching. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this month's Character Word, and I want to encourage all of you today to take some time and discuss with your teachers and your friends, and maybe even your parents, some ways that you can practice contentment. I hope you guys had fun, because I know I had fun, and I'll see you guys next month. Bye! Sell me things from bicycles to shiny rings. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And they say, Hey, check out this brand new fan. It's something that you gotta have. They kind of make me wanna laugh. Cause, like, no, no. Cause contentment isn't found in possessions. I think they've got the wrong impression. I try to focus my attention. On the fact that I'm blessed and everything I've got is all I need. I'm taking steps back to see things differently. Everything I've got is all I need, 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 need. It's all I need. Hey, I must admit that sometimes I want what my friends have. Focus my attention 
on the fact that I'm blessed in everything I've got is all I need. I'm taking steps back. When old things get boring, but life isn't measured by the things you own or the things you don't. I'm gonna be good with what I got. I promise you that I am not going with his, one with hers. Yo, I'm blessed, and that's for sure. Fancy things are cool, I guess, but you don't watch out. You just might miss it. There's more to life than the eye can see. Look inside, you got all you need. Everything I got is all I need. I'm taking. 